The fight for 500 continues here on Royals Franchise on MLB The Show 24, 31 and 32. And I will say most of the action we've seen is just Cole Reagans on the hill. Today, we're going to mix it up with somebody else. And I'll tell you what, Kyle Wright is having a heck of a season. Not really striking many batters out, but his ERA is just 3.18. As we lose with Michael Waka on the hill. He's actually really struggling right now. But let's go ahead and pop in. And see what Kyle Wright can do against the upstart Brian Wu. The way you play quick counts, if you didn't know. Pretty easy. Hit play full game. Pop in. We're going to wear the City Connect uniforms today. And just select quick counts before you go into the game. It's as easy as that. But Kyle Wright is getting a slight attribute boost. Although the stamina is not quite going up enough. He's had a great season. I mean, this is a true breakout. Very reminiscent of his 2022 season in terms of ERA. And I believe strikeouts per inning is somewhat close. Not striking out quite as many. And of course, allowing way more base runners. But if we can get those walks down, he's going to be extremely productive. I'm super excited about his potential. He's on fire. And we need our lineup to start matching that. Because so far, nobody's hitting except for maybe Drew Waters and Nelson Velasquez. Hunter Renfro seems like he's hot. Now we're hitting 250. Average isn't everything, but we're not getting on base either. We're not walking. We're hitting the occasional home run. And we're not really winning as many games as I would like. Two games below 500. The Mariners are actually significantly below that. And this is a team that we can definitely beat. There are the numbers for Kyle Wright. The 1.4 whip, that means walks and hits per innings pitched, 1.4 is a bit high. Ideally, you're shooting for like 1.2 or below as a starting pitcher. Of course, it doesn't seem like a big difference, but I can promise you the difference between, you know, 1.1, 1.15, 1.2, a whip versus, you know, something in the neighborhood of 1.4 or 1.5 is significant. You know, that's averaging, you know, sometimes two guys on base per inning when you're looking at 1.4, uh, and obviously, you know, 1.1 or 1.2 is a lot closer to that. Okay, maybe maybe get a hit or a walk per inning, but not a lot of damage. And, of course, he's not going to get that down right now. That's going to be a base hit. Josh Rojas goes the other way. Doesn't have a lot of power, but he can slap the ball around a little bit. But with a pitch-to-contact guy like Kyle Wright, if we can just get that sinker down, I'm thinking we can get a double play ball. And we got the right idea right now. We just need J.P. Crawford to hit this ball somewhat hard on the ground. And there it is. Michael Garcia around the horn. Adam Frazier, Vinny Pasquantino. Double play. And that's exactly what we were looking for. And that is the big benefit of one of these pitch-to-contact guys. You get that big power sinker in there. It's a bowling ball tumbling down. You can force contact, but it's going to be on the ground, typically. Unless you're playing this game online, in which case... That ball is getting elevated. Anything down in the zone does. And that whip is not going down anytime soon. It's another base hit allowed. As the superstar center fielder Julio Rodriguez works a two-out single. Two and one to Cal Raleigh. Big time power. Really want to avoid that kind of like lefty power zone. I know he's a switch hitter, but you don't really want to throw down and in there. That's just a pitch that you can kind of golf out. But down and away to Frazier. He's not going to be able to make a play on this. He took way too long to gather. And is not able to get down anywhere. Also, the uniform clash here is incredible. Why are we wearing the same color as them? And I, it just... It was default. The City Connect uniforms. I didn't necessarily choose them. As much as we just had them selected. And the Mariners are wearing the same exact color. Looks insane. This would never happen. Three base runners reach, three hits, but no runs as the Kyle Wright luck show continues here in 2024. That's a nice swing there for Michael Garcia. A little bit out in front, though. Got to do a better job of staying back on that pitch. Here's a 2-2. 3-2 now over to the right side as this is the payoff pitch. Popped up in the air and should be an easy play for Cal Raleigh. A little bit early. Got to sit back a little bit more on the 97-mile-per-hour fastball. 
to the lineup here and Bobby Witt, man, really, really struggling. Hitting 171 in his last 10 games at 7 for 41. He's still third in the AL shortstop uh, vote for the All-Star game. What do we do with Bobby Witt? Well, maybe we do that. Deep to left center field at the track. Catch is made. Warning track power for Bobby Witt Jr. He just can't catch a break right now. And maybe a move down to the lineup is warranted, but it's not like anybody's really hitting that much better. But maybe Drew Waters could move into the top, uh, you know, two or three. That's a possibility, I guess. You know, I don't know how that pitch is not crushed. But Witt Jr. has to be our star, and we just have not really seen it a lot this year, unfortunately. Had a big home run last episode. But you can't be hitting 200. Just can't be doing it. Unless your on base is like 370. Working a lot of walks. But I don't know that Bobby Witt Jr. is doing that either. We need him to be a superstar. He's not really giving us superstar production right now. It's very early in the season. But we need more. Vinny Pasquantino continues to fight. And finally gets a pitch he likes. Drives it fairly well. An easy play for... Julio Rodriguez, and we'll move back to the mound as we go to the second inning. Looking for a cleaner inning than inning number one here from Kyle Wright. A lot of sinkers and change-ups in that first yep, inning. That we might show more of the repertoire. I mean, his fastball can get into the upper 90s. Not quite 100, but you can see it there at 97. 3-1 here to Polanco. This is really looking like it's about to be a walk. Although, we'll kind of call that a sweeper there with that slurve. Placed beautifully. It is his primary pitch. We can throw it a little bit more for strikes if we want. As Nelson Velasquez, not the best defender, need to go over to his right. And he does make the play. Raleigh is hitting 263. That's third in the Mariners lineup. It would be first on our team, I think. With the exception of Drew Waters. So I don't know if he would qualify. Because he doesn't really have the plate appearances. He's only recently become a starter, as you guys will remember. It's another hit here allowed for Kyle Wright. That's four already in this game. Got a ground ball double play. Yeah, that slur has a lot of movement. That is like just a sweeper. Give him a sinker. Fouled off. Spoiled. Go back to the other side. Ground ball. Past the diving Adam Frazier. First and second with one down. I mean, they're hitting off Kyle Wright. His whip is going to be at like three by the time this game is over. It's unbelievable. I feel like we're allowing so many hits per inning. It's only inning number two, and I think five base runners have been on. It's insane. Show him the slider for the first time. More of a traditional slider there. More vertical break. This slurve is, is definitely more of a sweeper. You know what they're calling it in real life. But fastball freezes Sam Haggerty and sends him back to the bench. First strikeout there for Kyle Wright. Yeah, not really a big strikeout guy. But has good stuff. Just maybe needs to be less pitch to contact. Ground ball of Pasquantino throwing crossbody. Wright covers. We are out of the inning. It's not going to be easy for Kyle Wright, it would appear. Five hits allowed in two innings. We got to get that number down a little bit. Fastball to hit. Velasquez crushes it. And foul. 111 off the bat. Good timing, but it was too good to be fair. That's what this game is, man. Your timing's too good, so you can't hit it fair. <laughs> and then strikes out on the next pitch. It was just a sick pitch. Really annoying sequence there. Two out walk from Hunter Renfro brings up Drew Waters, our hottest hitter. And doesn't quite have the plate appearances. Sub 100 ABs right now. But is hitting 287. And maybe somebody that deserves to move up, of course, in the lineup. We want to reward production. And Drew Waters is producing right now. Another former Braves prospect, along with Kyle Wright, who we're seeing on the mound today. Ripped foul from Drew Waters. He's not really able to stay back on that heater. Got it again. Better timing this time. Ground ball, second baseman. Able to make the play. Tough play. 
from Jorge Polanco, but he's able to retire Drew Waters, and we're back out on the mound. Faced a lot of hitters so far. Already second time through the order, and it's just the top of the third inning. This is, uh, it's not great, but it's still 0-0, and we're probably going to have zero runs for a while knowing the Royals, knowing how we've performed this year. We just can't hit. Can't do it. Good timing on the ball. Have not really uh, been hits this year, unfortunately. So, just because it hasn't resulted in much so far doesn't mean we stop trying. Kyle Wright gets his second strike out of the game. Another one looking. And will this be the first clean inning for Kyle Wright? Needs to retire Cal Raleigh. Big swing and a miss there from Raleigh. 13 home runs for him. Off to a red hot start. And we'd love to strike him out. He was really early on the slider. Still don't want to show him anything particularly fast. Let's keep the off speed rolling. Ground ball up the middle. It's another base hit. It's the seeing eye ground balls that end up getting through. Six hits allowed now for Kyle Wright. Unbelievable. Good pitch. Spoiled again by Luke Rayley. Try to get him looking. Good spot. I got three and two. Getting squeezed. That's gotta be strike three. Instead, Luke Rayley will live to see another pitch. Fastball up and in. Maybe not the spot we were going for with Kyle Wright, but the result we wanted. Rayleigh swings and misses. Kyle Wright settling in a bit more. And if he continues to get stronger as the game goes on, that's going to bode well for us. Need to get him some run support. Nope. Need to find some way to start to get some guys on base and drive them in. What we're doing right now, simply not good enough. Early on the fastball, just can't quite sit back. I'm sure if we were good timing, though, it would still be foul, like we saw earlier with Nelson Velazquez. But that is smoked up the middle. Diving Julio Rodriguez keeps it in front of him, but cannot make the catch. If he would have caught that, I think it would have ended the video. I can't take it with this team. I mean, we finally smoke one, stay right through the baseball, right up the middle. And Julio Rodriguez was so close to taking it away. Here is Adam Frazier hitting just 207 now. His first A-B of the game. Got a fastball belt high that you really expected him to be able to drive. Check swing. A little bit late on that one. Here's two and two. No double play, please. And it won't be one. But, well, I mean, look at that spot from Brian Wu. Yeah, of course, good timing on it. But uh, just a really good pitch. With two strikes, we have to protect there. Thought we timed it up well. Maybe go the other way. Slap it to left field. But, unfortunately, Frazier was underneath it. As we'll bring it back up the top of the order. It's Michael Garcia. I'd take a walk. I know Bobby Witt Jr. struggled, but you need to get guys on for your best hitter. And regardless of production right now, he's our best hitter, but Michael Garcia making a case. This one, long gone to left field, no doubt about it. We are on the board. Michael Garcia looking to add more power in real life in 2024. Already hitting the ball very hard like we talked about in episode one. Just needs to elevate it more. And that's exactly what he does. Gets a cutter. Middle of the plate. Maybe a little bit low. He's able to golf that right out. Natural swing path. Just elevates the ball. 110 off the bat. 430 feet deep to left field. Brian Wu can't believe it. He knew he made a mistake. Maybe it's the glove? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think the glove had anything to do with it. But we are up 2-0. There we go. Finally! With a hit. And then a home run right after it. Gotta love it. Witt Jr. Fastball. Up in the zone. Not unhittable. But pops it up. And Bobby Witt Jr. might need a day off. Or something. Because he is really struggling nothing's going his way right now ground ball diving stop and he gets the assist <laughs> Jorge Polanco to Brian Wu and we are out of the inning unfortunately but damage was done first two hits of the game none bigger than this one from Michael Garcia two run bomb gets us on the board gives us a lead but 
Not enough breathing room here for Kyle Wright. He needs to continue to try and pitch well. Strike three, fastball up. Maybe that's what we need to do more. Throw the four seam. I think all four strikeouts have come on four seam fastballs. I think that might be true. All up in the zone as well. That's not a strike apparently. Not really getting a lot of help from the umpire in this one. Well, let's throw more four seams if that's going to work. Hit to shallow right. Renfro coming on. Makes a catch. Good pitch. Another strikeout for Kyle Wright. Really settling in, as I said. He's starting to really find it. Another clean inning for him. Gotta love it. Those six hits came in the first couple of innings, but I don't think any base runners have reached in the next two. Is this going to drop in for a hit? Not a good swing. Still so early on the fastball. 2-2. Two -two, we thought we'd have to protect there. But sometimes you just throw the bat out there, try to make contact with two strikes, and you get rewarded. Salvador Perez with a leadoff single here. And we know Nelson Velasquez has exceptional power. It's a good spot. Via OPS, he's our third best hitter right now. 776. So slightly above average there. If you can get into the 800 range, you're having a real nice season. 800, 900 is very, very good. And then 1,000 is MVP type level. And Nelson Velasquez not planning to slow down. This one shot into the right center field gap. Got to hold up Salvi at third. It's a big time double for Nelson Velasquez as we still have nobody out here in the fourth. Fifth double on the year. And that's exactly what you want to do with that pitch. Hit it where it's pitched. Outside part of the plate. Stay on it. Get it to the right center field gap. If Salvi ran any better, this is an easy run with how deep the gaps here uh, are at Kaufman. But only nine speed. He's not going first to home on that. But great swing from Velasquez. And Hunter Renfro's been hot. Keep it up. Ground ball. Salvi thought about going home. Ends up retreating to third. And Renfro can't get a run in. And now things start to get a little bit dangerous with, with one out. Drew Waters is up. He's arguably our best contact hitter right now. Don't need a hit, per se. Would be great. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Too much talking. Not enough hitting. Here we go. Don't worry about it. Base hit. Yes. One run going to come around. We're going to wave home Velasquez. Here's the play at the plate. Not in time. Aggressive base running pays off. And here's why we have to send him. I know just one out. We can't rely on anyone to get hits. When we get hits, we got to try it. Drew Waters stays on it again. What I talked about with Velasquez, just hitting it where it's pitched. Pitch it away, hit it away. Oppo for Drew Waters there. Great swing. And now it's Freddie Fermin who started us off with the first hit of this game. Led into a Michael Garcia home run, right? I believe so. And we could look to do it again. 4 nothing now as the offense is finally coming alive. Brian Wu still in the game. Makes a good pitch there up in the zone. Vermeen flies out. Wu at 90 pitches. Energy is waning. I'm not sure if he gets another batter after this. We just need Adam Frazier to do something. Base hit likely scores a run. Likely. Not for sure, but likely. That could be a base hit to left field. Running on it with two outs. We're going to get another play at the plate. Here it is. Not in time again. Frazier to second on the throw. I mean, we're aggressive trying to score on these. These are really close plays at the plate. But the throws are just not quite good enough. And again, we're trying to operate away. And every time he goes away, he gets hurt. And his day is done. As we get back to the top of the order. 5 nothing Royals finally doing something. And we might finally be tied for hits with the Mariners. That's how many hits they had in the first inning. Yeah, 6-6. Six to six. Yeah, we have five runs, and they have zero. Carlos Vargas, a flamethrower in for the Mariners. Would love to see Garcia get on one of these. Make a mistake down the middle. That's just not a strike. Okay. Not a strike, but called strike, so it is. Here's a 2-2. Come on, Garcia. Fastball a hit, driven deep to left field. But foul. 
looking for number two of the game with Garcia. A little early, or quite early. Three and two. Would have loved Bobby Witt Jr. to get another AB off, off Brian Wu. It was not to be. Full count, fastball, hit fairly well to left center. Julio's got incredible range and tracks it down for out number three as this inning finally comes to an end. But a lot of hits, a lot of runs, something we're not typically used to seeing, but a great, great inning. And Kyle Wright finally has some breathing room. He is at 91 pitches though. Sam Haggerty squares to bunt. One ball, two strikes. Mm, down five, I don't know if I like that. Like, okay, I can understand getting a base runner, trying to start something to lead off the inning. But, I mean, you can get a hit off Kyle Wright. That much we know. That much we know. Three. But, another fastball up in, the, uh, up in the zone. That one actually out of the zone. It's another swing and a miss. Strikeout number six for Kyle Wright. 97 pitches. We're going to get somebody moving up in the bullpen. Sometimes you just want to take the great start and just let it be it. Let that be that. Josh Taylor, Carlos Hernandez will get up and moving. 2-2. Two, two. I mean, I think you know what we have to do here. Get that fastball up. That ball's hit fairly well. If Rojas had any power, this might be in the seats, but that is out number two. And this should be the last batter for Kyle Wright. I want to get him through the fifth. He's at 101 pitches. He's pitched mostly great, and he is out of it. Goes 100 plus. Shut out baseball. Five strong. Did allow a lot of hits early. And that's why that pitch count's so high. But overall, a great start. And uh, we are going to schedule. I think it's got to be Josh Taylor to come in. Got to prepare for Raleigh and Rayleigh. Swung on and belted. Deep to left field. No doubt about it. Bobby Witt is back. Bomb. Okay. Hey. Struggle early. Maybe that's what kickstarts Bobby Witt's success. 13th home run. He is hitting for power. That might be the team lead in home runs. Just has not quite found the consistency. And he's just not really hitting a ton. Dude has scary looking eyes. Looks like a cat. And pounce like a cat. I don't know. I don't know. But that one was crushed. 107 off the bat. Into the bullpen. 6-0 Royals. Ground ball at the middle. Another hit for Salvi. Two hit day for our DH. Former catcher extraordinaire and surely Royals Hall of Famer. Not going to be an MLB Hall of Famer. But one of the great Royals ever, I think you'd certainly agree. Nelson Velazquez, make it 8. Make it 8 nothing continue to pour it on. I think we've all but won this game. Still a lot of innings left, but we're up 6-0. But we need to continue to pour it on. Ooh, fastball in. Great, great idea there from Velasquez trying to turn on it. Bat speed wasn't the problem, just underneath it. Ground ball. And J.P. Crawford goes the short way to Polanco, out number three. But Bobby Witt Jr., solo shot. Extends our lead to six. Gotta love it. I think it was absolutely smoked. And now we turn it over to Josh Taylor. Great start from Kyle Wright. We're going to let him go out feeling great about that. And we'll head to the bullpen. It's the lefty, Josh Taylor. Not sure we've seen him this year in the videos, but he's had a decent season ERA under three. Pretty good for a reliever. Not exceptional. J-Rod hits lefties really well, but... Josh Taylor does the job. Hit okay off the bat from Rodriguez. But hung up a little bit too long. And now we'll face Cal Raleigh. Couple of hits today. Two for two. Two for three now as Pasquantino ranges over to first for the put out. This could be a very quick inning. Taylor at just nine pitches. Here's number 10. Ground ball past the diving Bobby Witt Jr. And they have some life. Part of the reason we turn to Josh Taylor is so we can get lefty-lefty against Luke Rayleigh. And Rayleigh says, you know what? I don't care. I hit lefties just fine. And so does Jorge Polanco as a switch hitter. Rayleigh with great speed for a big man. 
Gets to third. Runners on the corners. Two down. Mariners with a bit of a two-out rally. We're going to get a quick mound visit going. And I think we're going to get man, a lot of our bullpen. Except for James MacArthur. Really struggled. We're going to get Will Smith up. We need Josh Taylor to get out of this. Fastball. Hit near the line. Velazquez makes the play just in foul territory. And no harm done in the end. A couple of two out, two out hits. Fine. Whatever. Waters. Fermin. Frazier. Top. We got some guys who can do something here. Drew Waters with an RBI single already. Of course, Leeds doesn't batting average at 292. No one else is even over 260, I don't believe. Good timing on the fastball, but another swing and miss. Strikeout for out number one. And Vargas just gets that fastball up. You can't take that pitch, but we can't seem to be able to square it up. Regardless of timing, and it's 98 consistently up in the zone. On the corners, at the top of the zone. We really can't take these pitches. And take that, though. Frisbee slider never had a prayer of being a strike. Ball counted for me and looking for hit number two. And what a spot. Great swing from Fermin to just spoil that. Get another pitch to hit. You can probably expect a fastball. And there it is. Fermin swings right through it. Maybe he didn't want the fastball. I mean, you, you're not going to get a better pitch to hit than that. Timing not the issue. Another good timing foul ball. We're really struggling to hit off Carlos Vargas here. He's thrown 40 pitches in relief. Hanging slider, not punished. So we have six runs. I'm not going to get too upset. Josh Taylor. Probably his last batter here. No, I mean, we got lefties up. We're going to keep him in. We got a 6 0 lead. Ooh, he's, he's going to be done. He's going to be done. That's a double. All right. But is he going to be done, though? Does that hit change anything for me? Still have Josh Rojas as a lefty. 21 pitches. What's the uh, what's the energy looking like? Can we see here? I mean, Josh Taylor has plenty of energy. We have a six-run lead. We're going to pitch. I'd love for you to tag here. You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you tag. Renfro's got a cannon. Runner tags. Here's a throw. Got a chance. Not in time. Still an idiot because that play was really close. And you're down six. But not an out. Oh, that was dangerously close. Thought about hitting the cut there, but didn't end up doing it in the Royals. We'll try and keep this runner at third base, but I think that will be the first run of the game. And it is six to one. 1-2 one, to J.P. Crawford. Slider struck him out. Goodbye, J.P. We're on to the bottom part of the seventh inning. I think we're going to make a change next inning, though. We will uh, probably get Carlos Hernandez in the game. Sit down Will Smith and get James MacArthur up. I mean, it's not a save situation. Maybe we take him back out. Yeah, maybe we sit him back down in favor of Will Smith. There's Michael Garcia with the multi-hit game right back up the middle. Gotta love it. Carlos Vargas still sticking out there. You know, he's on janitorial duties. I think we're gonna see somebody new here in a minute. Maybe the young Emerson Hancock. MacArthur sit down. Will Smith back up. But I think I'd like Carlos Hernandez to just finish this. Two innings, though. We'll see. One thing we know about Bobby Witt Jr., he can hit a fastball. But can he get a fastball to hit? That's the question. Three and one. This is the opportunity. Cannot miss it. Fastball. Not hit so well. A little out in front. But it does squeak through for a base hit. Runners on first and second. Nobody out. We'll see if they make a change on the mound. Or maybe they're just saying we've already lost the game. More Carlos Vargas. It's going to be a double play. Wow. It's a rally killer. Unless Salvi can do something. Which I wouldn't put it past him. But he's going to get underneath that and fly out to right center. 
And we move on to the eighth. And here is Carlos Hernandez. Been pretty good for us this season. Oh, thing is absolutely smoked to left. Velasquez makes the play. It was 102 from Hernandez and then 101 off the bat from J-Rod. Can't give him a pitch to hit like that. But we do have a lead. So we, you know, we can afford to attack these hitters. We want to attack them as opposed to handing out free passes. But Hernandez, I mean, he throws 102 like it's nothing. Strike three. Goodbye, Cal Raleigh. Fastball. Wow. Called high, maybe? That's got to be strike three. Let's just go back to that heater, though. Maybe we actually get a call this time. Rayleigh didn't want to even risk it. Fouls it off. This splitter could be nasty. Strike three. Rayleigh sitting on the gas. Easy inning from Carlos Hernandez as we'll face Taylor Saucedo. ERA at six and a half. We'll see if we can even take that up from there, but that is incredibly bad. Well, Saucedo's crushing it right now. We're not able to hit him. Have squared up the ball, but unfortunately right at fielders. Or uh, fouled. And there's another one. He just throws a changeup right down the middle. Says a prayer, and his prayers were answered. Unfortunate. I dream for the day when we have hitters in our lineup that can take advantage of big mistakes. That'll be a dream. Hernandez on for the nice. win. Big strikeout at 103 up and in. Ump wants to go home. Love the call. Strike three. Another K for Carlos Hernandez. Four strikeouts now for him. How about a fifth to end the game? Royals faithful on their feet. One strike away from Hernandez. And he got him. What a dominant victory here. Our bullpen came up clutch. Carlos Hernandez was disgusting. I mean, that was unbelievable. And our hitters did a pretty good job today. Most of our damage was done in the fourth inning. But overall, you know, three, four, five, we scored all of our runs. Ten hits, six runs. We'll take it. Kyle Wright does a fantastic job. And Carlos Hernandez, we got to talk about that one more time. Strikes out the side to win the game as well. But look at that. Two innings, five strikeouts. Struck out five of the six batters that he faced. That was unbelievable. In fact, he's going to make the thumbnail. That's how good he just was. Jump in here. Will Smith on the mound. Top nine, one out. Very dangerous situation here. We have the worst on-base percentage in the league, by the way, at 30th. Hitting our on-base is 297. The Mariners isn't even good, and it's 20 points higher, 21 points higher. It's amazing we're even close to 500 right now. We have the worst lineup in baseball. <laughs> our pitching, though, you know, they've come, come in clutch. We've won the close game. Sometimes that's all it takes. Will Smith trying to keep that true. Got to get Dylan Moore out. And he's not going to go down easy. Where is MacArthur? Did he blow this game? He's not available, so he must have pitched already. But why is he not in? Still a save spot. And Will Smith, dude. Get him out, please. Ground ball. Tag from Garcia. Throw on a first game over. Royals win. Another close victory. I need to see what did James McArthur do? MJ Melendez, 3 for 4 of the home run. Salvi, 3 for 4 of the pair of doubles. As we actually got to Luis Castillo. Cole Reagans goes 6 strong. Allows a 1 earned run. 6 Ks. But I assume McArthur pitched for us. And he did, but didn't get an out. Allowed two earned and two hits a walk. They just said he's done. His ERA skyrockets. The life of a reliever. Let's get back to focusing on starting pitching. I would say that those seem to be the guys that are going to go high in this draft. So maybe for good reason. Unfortunately, have not really found any really good hitting players. Any position players, any good hitters. 
So maybe we'll focus on what the strength of the class actually could be, which is pitching. So we'll see what that looks like. Ooh, big spot against Clay Holmes. Michael Garcia up at the plate. Nate Eaton on second base. Can we beat the Yankees? Our on base percentage is up a point from 297 to 298. Still last in the league. I mean, the Yankees are about middle of the pack, and their on base is 324. Do we make a trade? Are we going all in this year? Seems insane. We'll see what happens. Great take from Garcia. Does have a hit today. And the hit will tie this game. He is our last hope in the ninth. Here with two outs. A little early. One and one. Just worried about that Clay Holmes sinker. What? One and two to Michael Garcia. That's crazy. That's a crazy pitch. Popped out. Game over. Uh, drop it, drop it, drop it! <laughs> it's not to be. Eric Cole did allow four earned, but throws nearly a complete game on us. Did he allow all four runs in the ninth? He did. Oh my goodness. We almost made the comeback. Drew Waters homered off of him. But was not to be but we're gonna split with the Yankees and that could be worse we just beat the Mariners we're 35 and 36 I bet this Dodgers series is not gonna go all that well it's not all right we have 100% scouting on some of these players Dave McCarty draft rank one our draft rank is two a lot of stamina throws hard looks like he'd be a quality arm I'm looking at all his like future hits per nine strikeouts per nine walks per nine home runs per nine the things that really matter in simulation 5'10", 165. What about Kevin Colon? Doesn't throw quite as hard, but looks like he's going to be better long-term. Tough to say. It, it really just comes down to potential. And Dave McCarty is going to have high potential. Between 88 to 93, I think, for a fact. So, could be something we look at. We're going to keep looking at some of these pitchers. Frank Colbert doesn't look too bad. I mean, we don't have the scouting progress up a ton right now, but Rory Roberts, Rory does look like he could be pretty good. Chris Bates, there could be some things to like there. His potential could be as high as 98. We need a higher percentage on some of these guys. Too early to make a decision, obviously. I'm curious why Daniel Crowell, looking through all these get different guys. I mean, Dennis Sohn looks pretty good, but... Crowell, we know for a fact, has at least 82 potential, right? Between 82 and 92. I guess maybe that's not 100%. Maybe it's just as good as our scouting is. Looks very well-rounded. Maybe gives up too many home runs. But maybe I wouldn't take him in the first. But why would our draft rank uh, be 65? He does look pretty good. I don't know. Bobby Montez, same deal. Like, these guys that are well-rounded with super high potential, I mean, it seems like their future stuff could be way better than that. I don't know. Can we add them to draft board? Is that a thing on this game? Well, I'm not going to focus on him just yet, but seems like draft board's not a thing. At least not right now. Maybe I think you do that before the draft, if I remember last year. Are we going to get swept by the Dodgers? No, we don't. Or an ACL for a farmhand, though. 36 and 38. And oh my goodness. Nelson Velazquez is a homer away from the cycle. To do it with a grand slam would be electric. We're against the flame throwing Mason Miller. We're going to get a fastball to hit. Can Nelson Velazquez smash it? A power swing. I'm down. In the rain. In Oakland. Velazquez four for four. Woo! Cheating on a fastball. Okay. Didn't get it. But Miller throws 100 plus. If he didn't know. I don't know if he does in the game. Cutter at 94. Good timing. But the power swing swings and misses. Maybe back to normal here. Come on, Nelson. Come on. Pitch to hit. Driven the other way. I mean, that's... We're not going to be mad about that. No cycle. But it's an RBI single, two RBI single, and it's 12-2. to two. Nelson Velazquez, 5 for 5. 
And he is going to get another AB. We're up 16 to 2 against the A's. Who is this on the mound? I'm not really sure. Six for six with a cycle would be insane. Come on, Nelson. Oh, that was the pitch. I thought it'd be a fastball. I think we can expect the cutter, though. Full count to Velasquez. This will be his last chance. It's top nine with two outs. We have a 14-run lead. Come on. Disgusting cutter. Runner took off for second, of course. 3-2, two, two outs, but I hate that. Always distracts me. And uh, we flail at a pitch out of the zone. But good cutter. Good pitch. But we scored 16. <laughs> uh, that might be as many runs as we have the entire year. This is interesting. Chris Bates, our draft rank is 7 on him. Cole Hopkins could look pretty good as well. These, I mean, these are going to be a couple guys to watch. Chris Bates, though, I mean, they both look very similar, but his draft rank is 7. Looks okay. Cole Hopkins maybe even looks better. But I'm I, see, are we getting caught up with velo and pitch break and control and, like, overall stuff? If his walks per nine is never going to be good. Right now, it looks terrible. For Chris Bates, it could be above average. I don't know. A couple guys to watch out for. Scouting percentage is too low to really, again, make a decision right now. Look at this mustache. Oh, no. 0-0 <laughs> zero, zero game. Now it's back to Royals baseball. Imagine watching this. Royals, Marlins, top 10. No runs. Well, the bases are loaded. Bubich on the mound. And we are up to 299 for on-base percentage. Wow. We do have 96 home runs, though. But it's an interesting team. Two outs. Bubich needs one pitch. That's really it right now. One good pitch to get out of this inning. And that's it. Witt Jr. get underneath it. And let's walk it off. Nelson Velasquez is over three. Average is at 240 or 254 for him. OPS over 800. He's enjoying a pretty good season so far. Not so great against the lefties though. 99 speed. Somebody said the other day, you got 99 speed on second and you don't bunt. We were on the road. Typically teams just don't do that. Here though at home, we may have considered that to get the runner over. But, uh, of course, we pop out on a fastball down the middle. Taking off for third with Witt Jr., but we're way out in front. Trevor Rogers is throwing so slowly. We got to get Bobby Witt on third. There he goes. Here's a throw. Gunned. What is 99 speed? I can never steal. That was botched. Give me a hit here, Salvi, so I can... Uh, feel bad about running into an out there. I wanted to get him in scoring position. I can't put it in fair. Well, obviously he's in scoring position, but I wanted him to get into, all right, Salvi flies out, but we still end the game position so we can tag and score. Not this time. All right. Struck me out. Cool. Felt like good timing, but wouldn't shock me if uh, he just swung and missed anyway, which is what happened. Josh Bell hits it down the line. I mean, great spot on the pitch, but he just hit it better. Okay, that's bad. That's pretty bad. This would be this would be a frustrating loss. We allow no runs in extras, and then we come up with 99 speed on second, and we can't win the game. That's killer. Kyle Isbell back in the lineup. Haven't seen him in a while. They're going to try and tag here, and they're going to get that easily. What a terrible, terrible, uh, I don't know, like, relay there. It was horrendous. Maybe Hunter Renfro should have taken the throw. And that one's crushed. Well, Nick Gordon has an easy double, maybe even three here. And he's going to get three. It's falling apart. Chris Bubich's fastball is just getting absolutely destroyed. 
I tried to throw it down a couple times, and they just hit it. They crush the fastball down. You can't really steal a strike. Fastball up, strike out. And yeah, I know you typically do want to get the fastball up, but you can still throw that pitch down successfully. Just not here, and it will be the show against the Marlins, apparently. But Dahl Bruhan on the Marlins now. Former Rays top prospect, strikes out swinging. Not really even a competitive pitch. And now we have to face the Marlins closer, Tanner Scott. Ooh, don't like that at all. That's not great. He's very good. Throws really hard. See if we can make something happen. Oh, I mean, like, that's disgusting. What are you supposed to do with that? Just take it, I guess. If we can somehow tie this game up, that would be incredible. It won't take a lot. It just is going to be very tough to do it off Tanner Scott. Really good player. But a hit, especially an extra base hit, would change this game. We only have five hits the entire game. Pasquantino hits this one pretty well. But cannot find the grass. MJ Melendez can hit lefties a little bit. Oh, how do you miss that slider? Late, huh? Okay. Didn't feel late. But I believe you. I guess I over-adjusted. <laughs> Seems like I don't understand the timing of Tanner Scott's slider. Seems to be the case. One and two. Melendez needs to go big here. Very early. It just doesn't feel that early. It's Hunter Renfro's in the eight hole today. Very interesting. He can hit lefties, though. Only 58 power. I mean, what? Look what they, they did to him, man. Look how they massacred my boy. 58 power against lefties? Ridiculous. Full count for Renfro. Michael Garcia hitting ninth today. And we will see him. Renfro works a walk. We're going to ignore the suggestion and take on a Renfro out of the game. Nine speeds on second. Yeah, we get more speed behind him. Maybe a gapper would score him. All right, fine. I talked myself into it. Nate Eaton has big speed. Maybe Michael Garcia hits one of the gap. Who knows? Ooh, thank you. Thank you for uh, not calling that as a strike. Come on, Michael. What am I doing? Take a pitch. He's locating really well, but we don't have to swing at that with... Less than two strikes. Now we would have to. Michael Garcia hits it well, but into an out. Marlins win. Tough game. The problem is Nelson Velasquez can't bunt. Should we have pinch hit him for somebody that could have bunt? Or somebody that could bunt and then, you know, try to win the game? Might not have been a terrible choice as we're going to try to win another close one. I mean, all of these situations. Hey, it's super late in the game. Your team is trying their best to blow it. And here we are. Bases juiced. Brian Rocchio against James McArthur. McArthur. 2-2-8 ERA, but a whip at 1-4-1. Okay. Absurd. The heart attack closer. That's not a strike? On what planet? Is that not a strike? Rokio for three. Ground ball double play ends a game. Oh my god. We're about to walk in a run. Please. I don't know what the strike zone is, though. We have to throw it right down the middle to get a call. Fastball up. Fouled off from Rokio. Okay, we brought it back. 3 2. 12 6. Good spot. Frazier to second. Get rid of the ball! Oh my god, everybody's safe. Adam Frazier, dude. This guy absolutely stinks. How long does it take to get the ball and throw it? This is a routine play. There's plenty of time. Why are you letting the ball get that deep on you? Attack the baseball! Easy play at first. We got greedy. I get it. But I didn't think he was going to take 20 minutes to throw the ball. Ground ball. Pasquantino stops it. This game's tied. 
Unbelievable. And that's not a strike. What is the zone? MacArthur, I mean, it's not your fault. It really isn't. I get that if I go to first and just take the out, it's game over right now. So you can blame me, but I, again, I, it's my fault then. I, I really didn't think Adam Frazier was going to take so long to get and get rid of the ball. Insanity to me. Insanity. And the umpires killing me. I want to throw at his fucking head. <laughs> Excuse me. Strike three. Finally out of it. Guardians tied up. We can walk it off. And we are going to try. This is James Karinczak. If there's no sticky stuff, this should be no problem. Fly out. Tough. Hit it high. It's not far. Freddie Fermin with a base hit. We can still win this in regulation. Not going to pinch run Fermin. Don't really see the use right now. Adam Frazier hitting sixth for us. They're changing my order around, which I think I allowed them to do after an injury. But we are going to have to change it back because I don't I don't like Adam Frazier hitting sixth. He's bad. I'm sure in real life he's going to hit like second for the Royals. <laughs> oh, we got to make something happen when they're going to hang breaking balls down the middle. How often do we see they just launch breaking balls middle middle and we can't do anything ground ball down the third base line and fair can we get first and third here here's the play for means in there first to third on the single to left michael garcia actually they're gonna call it a double i thought that's a single with an advancement on the throw but they're gonna call it a double i'm not complaining and a drew water single will win the game come on Stay right through the ball, right up the middle. You can do it, Drew. Fastball down the middle. Early. Just early. That was the pitch, too. Water's 0 for 3. Break out of the slump. Well, I say slump. 0 for 3. I mean, that happens. I don't know that he's slumping. Still hitting 275. That's popped up. We're swung through, so we can take that. I don't know how we miss it. Good timing. Swing and a miss. Stephen Kwan doesn't strike out is the problem. And oh my goodness, that's going to be a base hit. First and third, nobody out. 74 mile per hour exit velo. The Stephen Kwan special finds a gap. And they're going to try and bunt. Oh my goodness. There's one at second. Safe back at first, but a double play is back on. The runner did not score. It's still three all. MacArthur's still in the game. It's weird to extend your closer like this. But I want to keep it 3-3. So we are trusting him to go out and make it happen. Fly ball. They might try and tag and score on this. They're going to. They should be out. Pasquantino, good relay. Out at the plate. Drew Waters started it off. Pasquantino with a great throw to gun him at the plate. Great relay. Nate Eaton has 39 bun. 39. Bobby Witt got the day off today. This could be a good time to bring him in. Big day off for everybody. Uh, we're going to bring in Bobby Witt Jr. to pinch it. He's had a really bad season. But does have 14 home runs. I take 15 in the game right now. We're not going to bunt, though. Back-to-back -back good timing swings for Bobby Witt on pitches in the zone. Hit neither of them fair, and then strikes out. Garrett Hampson can bunt, but you already have an out. So this is this is quite the predicament. I wish there was some way we could get that runner over to third. We know we're not going to be able to steal this. So we need a hit so early. 
And the contact swing doesn't matter. Hampson goes down swing. I hate this team. Good timing, of course. And a contact swing. No contact was made. Kyle Isbell, contact swing. Good timing. <laughs> Hit it in play, please. Please. Oh my God. More good timing. Come on, Kyle Isbell, please. No. Okay, good take. Three, two. Please put it in play. I would, I would take a line out or a fly out. Get me out of this AB. Put the ball in play. I'm contact swinging, please. Oh my God, I'm late that time. I, I guess I can live with that. I've had like six good swings in a row that have all been foul. Please, Kyle Isbell. I beg you, put the ball in play. Sick. Oh, man. Garthur's day is done. We're going to Carlos Hernandez. He's been disgusting. And... It's, it, it says the strikeout percentage is below 20%, which kind of surprises me. Because when we brought him in, all he does is get strikeouts. It's actually incredible. But he's ready to go. Please win this game for us. And by that I mean, don't lose the game for us. Jose Ramirez. We know he can handle a fastball. But we challenge him. We say, show us. Oh, he did. Definitely early on the fastball away. But gets an RBI single. As we look to lose another close one. I mean, how are these called balls, man? I don't understand what the zone is. That one obviously is, but... Uh, this one's trending towards a loss. Carlos Hernandez just not getting some calls, and obviously you allow a hit to Jose Ramirez and put you in trouble. Not really just mowing through batters, but... Gets David Fry to strike out swinging. That's gonna be a hit. You gotta be joking me, dude! Sixty-one miles per hour off the bat for a single. These Guardians killers are killing me. Or hitters are killing me. They might as well be killers. Because I want to die. Alright, finally somebody hit the ball hard. Deep to right field. Isbell going back at the track, at the wall. Three-run home run. Strike three. Hernandez out of it, but the damage was done. This was uh, another frustrating series. I... I'm not going to say this game's over, but it really doesn't look good for us right now. Yeah, it looks horrendous. Yeah, they can just hang splitters down the middle and we can't do anything about it. It's devastating stuff. Got a single with Freddie Fermin that scored a run, and the Guardians then turned to Emmanuel Classe to get Adam Frazier out. It's a hydrogen bomb against a coughing baby. What is the deal here? Why? I know how this at bat's gonna end. Let's see it. 0-2 to Frazier. Strike three. There it is. Unbelievable. Frustrating June. We really just couldn't pull away. I think we maybe go slightly below 500 overall. A lot of losses in there. Uh, just frustrating. Got swept by the Rangers. Lost the series against the Marlins. Do win the series against the... Or, well, we're not gonna lose the series against the Guardians. One more game in July. But not the June we wanted to have. I'm thinking that, I mean, Bobby Witt Jr., this is the most troubling thing. The guy can't hit. What what happened? Horrendous season. Right, added a bunch of players to our trade block, including longtime Royal Salvi Perez. He doesn't deserve to be not competitive. He's dealt with it for a while. I know he should retire as a Royal. If we get a good enough offer... I'll consider it, but it is highly unlikely he gets traded. However, the Marlins are offering a trade for Kyle Wright. They would give us Trevor Rogers. That's interesting. That's very interesting. He's 26 years old, A potential. Kyle Wright's 28 overall with B potential, but he's having a great year. Trevor Rogers, not so much.
Could be something we come back to. I'm going to decline it for now. Could be something we come back to. That's the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next episode, a lot's going to happen. We got the All-Star Game, Home Run Derby, more scouting, and then, of course, the trade deadline. Should be a fun one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.